love these so much. Oh, I'm so glad I made these pants. Okay, so I thought I would do a video today just showing you some simple, easy fall looks that I like to wear and tend to wear and just how I put these things together and why. So I'm just going to do it throughout on my mirror right here. So let's go with the first one. So these are my pants. These are from Jill Sander. I picked them up at a designer consignment shop in New Orleans. I love them because they have like this, I call it like a fin. See, it goes all the way, it's pockets, and then it just continues with this, it goes all the way down. They're actually um, quite long, so I need to get them tailored and I haven't done that yet. So for now, I'm just kind of doing the casual look to them. It just pulled over my uh, Bottega boots, the black and cream colored ones. And I like the cream color with the um, trousers. And then the top, I got this beige colored top. It's actually from Amazon. I love it. I have it in navy as well. It's so nice and it fits so well. I'd recommend you size down because it's uber stretchy and I think it looks best when it's tight. It has like buttons here. You can open it as low as you like. It's really nice. I love it. And look at the sleeves. You know, and I love when sleeves do that. Simple earrings. These are my Misoma hoops. And let me just show you the rest. Um, so you can see the outerwear in the bag and that's it. And for the rest, I put on my camel coat. You know, the one that I picked up from a, actually from a thrift shop. There's a bit of fluff on my sleeve, but I'm not going to move it right now because I've got a bag in my hand. But love this camel coat. You guys know the story, OG subscribers, of how I found this coat. And I love it to pieces. And every time I... Uh, wear it, I show what you're about to see now when I say the word camel. So that's the whole look um, with Jacquemus bag. I think this is called the Grand, Grande size. This was a gift given to me, not from Jacquemus, from my management, they gave it to me. And I would never have bought this myself, but now, that I, because I've always liked it, but I wouldn't buy it myself, but now I have it, I really like it. Um, and I've been using it quite a bit with my outfits. So it's basically lots of creams, caramels, neutrals with white. So it's a nice way to show how to style whites to me in the fall and just how to sort of casualize really kind of fancy-ish trousers and just to make them, you know, a bit more wearable during the day. That's just my take. That's it. Love it. And next outfit coming up. Look number two for a simple look when you're out for the fall. Um, this is just basically styling a maxi skirt. This one is a statement because it's all multicolors. Um, I got this from Under the Stories two years ago and I love it. It is a full maxi on me, which I love. I'm five foot seven. Um, I'm wearing it. Oh my gosh. I just realized this is also under, that was not planned. This is also under the stories. Comment below when you're like, oh my gosh, I'm wearing the same brand. Got this about two years ago too. Uh, it's a cardigan, slightly, not cropped, but it's not like really long. And I love that about it. It's sort of fairly short-ish. Just three buttons, quite a deep V. I love that the sleeve is kind of full. I have it in camel as well. And I got them both a couple of years ago because I love it so much. And I'm really glad I got it in two colors because I wear them a lot. Just to add some shape to everything, I added a belt. This is one of my plaited belts. Remember I told you how you can take a belt and just, if it's a braided one, you can put the hole wherever you like so you can wear it at any, anywhere on your body. So that's why I have this one on. It just cinches in the waist. It just creates that kind of this with the V here and then this kind of just flows out. Nice long sleeve, just a nice long knit and on the skirt and then I added my um, Jordans in the green because I like the kind of whole look of it's just all um, a very colorful look quite the opposite to the one before which was all neutral and creams this is like the other end of the spectrum and I love this whole look it's um, it is colorful it's deep colors jewel tones that I love colors in here pick up on the skirt vice versa and then finishing off with like colorful um, trainers as well. My necklace is Mazoma. I'll link my Mazoma necklaces. This one actually is a clip-on pendant. They have lots of them, different styles, and I've got loads of them. And you can just clip these on and off on anything. Sometimes I like to add this to a bracelet as well. That's a tip. And again, you can add the pendant to this particular chain like I've done here, or you can add it to any of your chains. So this comes off. Also, it opens. You can put anything in it if you want. That is this look. Hold on. Let me just finish with the outerwear and the bag. And that's it. 
Oh, I didn't go with any earrings like statement ones, just really simple studs. I've had these for like five years, these are like little stars. And these one on the other side, these are like hoops by my jewelry. I wear these all the time. And these at the top here, uh, I have two. These were done years ago by, um, I think it's Adorned New York. Adorned New York in, in New York. <laughs> so this is the finished look with a long navy coat. It's actually not that long. I actually wished it was longer. I don't know. It's at a weird length on me and uh, see, I like coats that are longer. So I don't know, I may not keep it. I have a strong feeling I'm gonna be looking for a longer navy coat and it will replace this one because I like coats to, to not be this length on me. Personal preference. So, but in the meantime, this is the coat that I have. I like that it's navy because the cardigan is as well and also you've got that color in here. Um, it's just all jewel tones and I finished with the Kelly uh, Rose Pauper, 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 I think that's how you say it, ah! But that's the whole look together. Very colorful, but autumnal, jewel tones, very Karen, and I, I love this look together. Let me know your favorite, by the way, in the comments. <laughs> jackets and how to kind of style them. You know I love my ones from the Frankie shop. This one is not. This one is actually from Sway Bay. It came as a PR package to me and I actually really like it. It's very boxy and that's why I like it. It's plain, really simple. I'm just trying to do that. It has buns that go up. I'm just trying to do like three of them. So the collar stands. It has a front pocket right here. It doesn't have side pockets. It just has this kangaroo pouch pocket right here, which is kind of cool and it zips. I like the fact that the sleeves are kind of like this length because as it gets cooler, I'll just add like jumpers underneath and then have like, you know, just have like my jumper covering my arms. But for now, it's not that cool. So I just wanted to show you another way to wear it. Um, it does have poppers on the side, which you can also do up or not. I kind of undone a couple of them, as you can see, and did that on both sides. And it has like that, it really does remind me of the Frankie shot because it kind of like does have that boxy look where it kind of, um, kind of sticks out at the back. Great, I really like it. And so because it's very boxy, um, I'm wearing it with a pair of skinny jeans and my Bottega Bounce boots, which I have completely and utterly hit the ground running in these bloody boots. It's amazing. If you didn't see my video, I'll link it below of where I show my entire boot collection. So if you want to see not just the boots that's on the shelf, but other boots that I've got, uh, it's like a stepping back in time <laughs> to see all the boots that, I've, that I still have. Some of you asked well, what happened to my cut boots, the ones I DIY cut my um, cowboy boots, I still actually have one of them. One of them, they were both snake skin, and one of them, the snake skin was just kind of like falling off, and the other one, I still have it, and I just don't wear them anymore, but I keep them because they represent my February 2009 self when I started blogging, and my style, and what I was doing. They... I will always keep those boots. They're very, very special, sentimental reasons beyond just wearing them. So that's the whole look. Um, and let me just show you the bag and like sunglasses. And uh, I think that'll be it. For anything, like I said, underneath, it goes over the head. It doesn't have like full uh, buttons down here. But obviously, like I said, as it gets cooler, I just wear like a polo neck underneath or something. And then you're good to go. So for bag, I just added the Hermes in the gold color, gold on gold. Um, I like the way the gold just picks up on the sole of the boot and also I like the structure of the bag against the fullness of the structure of the quilted jacket and then the glasses I picked those colored shades simply because it just goes with the bag and again with the sole of the boot these are by Key Q-U-A-I I think it's pronounced Key though but anyway that is it that's the whole look together some slight alterations. <laughs> I changed the jeans to my cargo pants. These are the ones from my clothing line. I'll show you um, so you can see them properly. They have the asymmetric waist. Love these so much. Oh, I'm so glad I made these pants. I just think I like this look better. It just feels more me. Just, just literally switching out the pants. Um, I could have worn the Kelly bag, but I went with something smaller. So this is the Loewe, same color though, that same tan look. And that is my final look on styling quilted jackets. And you can apply this theory to any of the quilted jackets that you've got. And that's it. <laughs>next look is really like how to style white jeans these are high-waisted uh, went with the whole like just very light caramel kind of 
just very light look. They are by Margiela. These are the same jeans that I have already in the blue. I just love them so much that I got them in the white about two or three weeks ago. You can always just DIY if you want, but I just the love, the cut of these is superb. They're very high, like I said, on the waist, and they just really kind of like fit you here, and they just kind of have a banana cut, but they kind of curve, but then they sort of pull and get kind of loose at the bottom here, a little bit baggy, and I think that's so cool. It just looks really kind of just, just very casual and easy. I'm wearing my Amazon bralette top, the knit top that I've told you guys about before. I have this in black and in grey. I'm wearing the kind of neutral kind of tan caramel color i wear these in a size small get your true size or if you've got bigger boobs and go up a little bit because it doesn't have much stretch i'm just warning you um this is my under the stories cardigan in the other color remember i showed you earlier the navy this is the tan one and this time i just wore it open almost like kind of jacket style that's kind of it and then on the feet i've got my Converse high hikes. I don't need to tell you guys about these i love them so much these earrings i can't remember are these misoma or all these majority. I can't remember. I should know. Hopefully by the time this video is going up, I'll mention it. I'll, I'll at least link it below in the description box. I know that this is Mazoma though, the um, initial. I finished with a punch of a dark colour and that is the Bottega Jody bag and it is in the large size. This is the one that's called Grape. The hardware is gold and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I, I love... <laughs> God, this bag is I can actually smell the leather whilst it's on my shoulder it's so nice so I'm wearing that we're actually going to London and Paris very soon and this bag is probably coming with me I've already traveled with it once it's like I take this plus a carry-on and I am good to go it's just a good size it holds everything and um, I like the fact that it's not black because I you know we've all got black bags so it's nice to have something that is very like fall appropriate, year round appropriate in this gorgeous rich color, nice and jewelly. Jewelly, I call it, jewel, jewel, jewel like. <laughs> so that is it, that is everything. Just very cream and light, but then add the bag for a little bit of a punch of a color. And that is it, that's the whole look together. <laughs> This is my last look and this is probably how to style just how to style green kelly green it's still a really strong color that's trending um, at the moment i personally love it anyway it's one of my favorite colors regardless whether it's in or not it's just i love it and i thought i would go all out since i love it that much and i'm wearing a men's suit shocker this is actually from amazon I mentioned it in my newsletter a couple of weeks ago and I really love it. It's oversized jacket and then we've got the trouser as well, which is a matching trouser. I don't like the fit too much of the trouser. It's supposed to be a slim cut blazer and a slim cut pants. I never wear slim cut in either of those two things. So I knew that this would be an issue for me. So I got a very big size and I just kind of like belted it to make it a little bit more sort of wearable it's not high-waisted so it kind of like stops because it's meant for a guy but a slim cut guy and that's not what i would go for when i look for menswear anyway doing the best i can with it because i love it and i love the color um, and i'm wearing it with my bottega boots i'm just making it very kind of casual and very me i'm not wearing like seriously how it's intended to be worn like you know like for a smart event this is casual um, i'm wearing my tank this is my black amazon tank so good again i have this in like black and like an olive kind of neutral khaki color i'll link everything below it's so good for this i would definitely say to size stay true to your size or go one size down because it's quite stretchy and you want it to fit tight on you so um, i think i'm wearing an extra small and i but i could have gone extra extra small just so it fits really like snug because it's very stretchy like i said i'll let you know also in the description box the sizes that i got for these two pieces from amazon but yeah this comes in like tons of colors as well by the way i can see wearing this jacket alone in the spring and summer with like just a pair of denim cutoffs and like just a tank and that's it all right so that is the look oh the coat and the bag hold on to finish i added my and other stories quilted long 
coat. Um, it's very lightweight and it's long and I like that it's black because it lets the, the green really kind of like punch. And then speaking of punch, I added my gold clutch bag. This is coming out brighter than it actually is in person. It's actually pretty um, dark in person. When I say dark, it's not as bright as you're seeing on the screen. Anyway, I just love the look of wearing something really, really like almost all black especially if like you've got the coat done up and you're just walking down the street and you just like got like this massive punch of gold in your hand. I think it looks so powerful together, especially in the middle of um, fall. That is kind of like the whole look together. So I'm wearing basically one way to show you how to do green. You can obviously don't even have to do like a matching suit that I'm doing here. You could just be wearing the pants, just green pants. And this could just be like a, a black jumper or vice versa. This could just be like black jeans or black trousers. And then you've got like the, the green of the jacket. So you don't have to do it like I've done it, which is like all the way. And I do like the way that the cuff is like sticking out a little bit. I think that looks kind of cool. But that is Karen's take on doing it. I'm only showing another bag, hold on. I didn't like any of the bags I had to go with this. Um, the black, all my black bags just disappeared because of the coat. I just switched to the actual Bottega bag instead, but this one is like a more nut muted one, so it's not metallic in the caramel color. I like this because it just, again, pops against the coat and I like the neutrals because it kind of like makes the pants feel a little bit more neutral when you go with a neutral tan colored bag instead. So that was why I switched to this particular clutch instead of the, the gold one, just to kind of like make sure the focus stays on the green only and not on the metallic bag. So that is really the only tweak that I did. I didn't want a handbag sort of handbaggy kind of bag you know what I mean like something that's on the shoulder either because I'm wearing a menzy kind of suit so I wanted it to be something that was just in my hand and this thing I think is perfect that is the whole look together all right so that is my lot um let me take this coat off because I'm freaking hot hold on okay so because I just literally shot everything back to back I'm like really hot have you ever done that I don't know if you have but you know when you're trying clothes back to back back to back to back to back it starts to get you really hot <laughs> especially when you're doing like outerwear as well which is what I was doing so it was just basically me showing you like some different um looks for the season just some different outfit ideas that's all this is just a video on like how to put together outfits how to style outfits how to style full colors how to style trousers how to style maxi skirts you know and how to style white jeans you know so it's all just just how to style outfits and you know how to feel cool and to look chic kind of at the same time as the temperatures slowly start to drop. But that is it, I'm gonna end looking like the Joker. Links is below and subscribe if you want more videos like this and give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this, like how to style stuff, but shown in like my outfits, like how to style and I just make an outfit for you. So thumbs up if you want more of those and I will see you on Instagram and TikTok in between time for the next video. Bonus outfit. I ended up tweaking it because I just wasn't feeling the, the green pants because the cut of them. So instead I went with my leather thrifted baggier shaped pants. The ones that have like a much more of a looser wide cut. And I switched out to my Kelly Green Jordans to go with the blazer. And I just wore the blazer alone. And I'm wearing the, you know, the same Amazon tank. And that's really it, that's the whole look. So that's one way to style Kelly Green <laughs> instead of doing the whole like, I call it almost the Joker outfit with the whole like suit and everything, just wear the blazer all by itself. And I think this is way more achievable. This feels a lot more comfortable, way more me and something you can just easily wear out. And yeah, you don't have to do like matchy matchy with like the snake, the, you know, the sneakers and the jacket. You could just wear like, just a pair of black Converse's. That also would look really good. Like my high hikes, I could easily wear that instead. So it's only because I have these and I like Kelly Green. So I'm always busting these out. But that is the whole vibe together. And speaking of Kelly, <laughs> I added one, but this is the black vintage one that you guys know about from one of my other videos. If you've not seen the unboxing video, I will link it for you below. But that is the whole vibe and I love it. This is more me. It's much more casual and yeah, I just prefer it. And if you want to put like a coat on on top, then you can, you know, like the same quilted one. Definitely I could, but for now, this is great. And as it gets cooler, switch the tank underneath to um, a polar neck or a jumper, any kind of thin knit, you know, 
So just adjust accordingly. But that that is now the final look. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Take care.